remarkable breakthrough in the search for a cure for cancer. Researchers utilizing an experimental therapy similar to the way the body fights off the common cold. Instead, helping the body itself attack the cancer cells uh, and not use the chemotherapy, drugs, and radiation uh, that are normally used in cancer treatments. To break it down, joining us once again, Dr. Kevin Campbell, practicing cardiologist and assistant professor of medicine at the University of North Carolina. So how exactly could our bodies fight off cancer like we fight off the common cold? Well, there's certain immune cells in our body with our immune system that attack viral infections like the common cold. These cells are called T cells. And what happens in this particular situation in this experiment that we've talked about today is that we pull these T cells out of the body of a patient with cancer. We use gene therapy to make them attack the cancer cells and then inject them back into the patient and they go after the this cancer cells. This was a cells. very small study in the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. 21 young people received this treatment. 18 of them are in remission. I mean, could this be a cure for cancer? I think that this may be well on the way to curing diseases like cancer. I think of it as personalized medicine. We're using your genetic material to fight off this particular cancer. This was done in leukemias and in some children they're seeing no cancer at three years. Not everyone, but it, the results look very promising. They also tried it in, in adults, 37 adults, this is uh, Penn scientists, 37 adults with leukemia, 12 went into complete remission, 8 more into partial remission. Do our cells remember, for example, if you reprogram them, put them back into our body, they fight off cancer. Will they then reproduce and create cells that attack cancer for decades? What they've done in this particular experiment have, sh have shown us that you can put these T cells back in and they make 10,000 copies of themselves. And when they looked at the blood and the bone marrow of these patients down the line, they still had those T cells that remembered to fight against this particular cancer cell. This is really promising. The age of personalized medicine is how we're going to cure chronic diseases like cancer, like diabetes. I think that's where we're going. Dr. Campbell, great to have you on the program. Thanks for having me. Thank you very much. John